this. I mean, my science isn't terrible, and that's the only thing keeping me afloat right now. Well, my science is terrible, so oh. I've got nothing keeping me afloat. I am on 20 science. Okay, this is weird. Potatoes on 19 science, 22 culture, but 610 faith. That's a lot. Don't of faith. look too closely at my faith, thank you. Look very closely. Close at leaders' faith. faith. And then faith. Go through is religious history, guys. He's doing something. Who would have thought it? I, just, I have nothing to spend my faith on, okay? I suppose that is actually right. You're waiting for the golden era where you can buy stuff cheaper, aren't you? Oh Correct. my god, the blizzard removed all my, my improvements, too. Yeah. Where are you? Are you living north of the wall? Where the fuck are you? <laughs> <laughs> He's further south than me. Like, I didn't, I didn't have a blizzard. I can't believe this. That's ridiculous. Like, why is... I, this happened this one game against Lewis, too. Like, a typhoon came in and wrecked everything I had twice over. You have a blizzard! I put a city park there. No! Oh, it's all these barbs! This <laughs> is uh, it's seriously non stop barbs! <laughs> One. No, that's right. Contract city park and blizzard. Flatland in the city. Flatland. I hope it doesn't cross. It's not flatland. <laughs> It's not count as flat man. It is flat man. Uh, sometimes that can be weird, I don't know. Um is it floodplain? Um it's next to a river. If it looks not... all marshy, then it might not count as not, flat. No, it's a land. desert tile. Hmm. Oh, maybe it can't be built on desert. If you like it can, I've already right. built one on a desert. Oh. Oh, is it the water park? Is it the city park? Yeah. Have you already got one in that city? Yeah, you only have one per city. One per city, correct. Uh, and then it's less powerful. Okay. Yes. It's still good, but you have to yeah. kind of, you know, send Liang on a world tour of your empire. Right. So you've got to move her, build a new one, move her, build a new one. Jeez. That's a little bit spooky. World tour. Oh, I lost the Great Library as well. Ooh, that was close. Ah, oh yeah, I've, I've got that. Yeah, it's mine. Oh boy, why am I even bothering killing <laughs> anyone? This, honestly. At least I think I got it. Sometimes you just have those days. Those. those this is games. one of those. Yeah. This is one of those. You guys ever just time. look at your free cities because you've been sandwiched on like a stick of desert land and just cry as I've got two like... cities. Oh, I've I got... suppose. Yeah. Two, three, okay. four, five. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to get five. I've got like a mountain range and like city states creating like a huge yeah. pocket that I can just sim city inside of yeah. with zero threat to me. It's great. Yeah. Yeah, I've got I've got a similar situation with my city states. I've got a whole bunch of nice, this. highly packed city states which I'm just going to harvest. Well, you know, Nagata Garmu is in the game, and that's the one that makes cheap, oh, you know, cheap unit purchasing. Nagata Garmu is meant. Oh, that is. I want that. But I, at the moment, I'm quite happy with Fez and Geneva because they've just like rammed my science production through the roof. Delicious. What is this? Uh... Yeah, I chose to build up away from Daltos. Seems intelligent. <laughs> Because I knew that if I built a city too close to his border, he'd just be like, WAR! 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 I'm like uh, Chewbacca, only to say war. War! I really want to improve the city, but there's a single scout there, and I don't feel like building a single thing to kill it. <laughs> Now, does the Great Salt Lake count as fresh water? <laughs> oh, well... <laughs> hmm... I mean, because it says lake. Yeah, but it also says salt. Yeah, but, like... I don't know, this is the video game world, not the real world. I don't know. I'm, I'm just really wondering if I should build... I'm wondering if I should build an aqueduct or not. It is... Okay, my chat is saying it's only a name. It, uh, okay, right, I'll build a harbour instead. Fuck it. 
Oops, also, yeah. no, chat, the Great Salt Lake isn't Rydian's game of bathwater. <laughs> Stop asking. <laughs> actually, actually I, I, not to correct you or anything, but... Uh, oh, sorry. Proud to announce my new Patreon. <laughs> uh, nice. <laughs> That's an OnlyFans perk, isn't it? Not, not a Patreon. <laughs> OnlyFans, OnlyFans. I went on Patreon, but I had to be very careful with how I phrased it so that it didn't sense that it was a little bit NSFW. <laughs> God, Liang's amazing. She's like better than Pingala now. Pingala. Pingala. Yeah. Imagine if there was like an advisor who's like, get something from shitty desert tiles. Fuck. Mm. Dalek, <laughs> we, we, I said this is where our border was, and you've already expanded past the point I said. Kill him. All right. War just, forever. War. Let's for not <laughs> fuck around here. I that just cost have... me like <sighs> 10 turns of movement. I don't care. We established our borders earlier. I don't remember where that was. That mountain range that you already <laughs> settled past. I had to go around it. Don't make me don't make me do it, Alex. Do what? Don't make, attack you. I don't want to have to, but I will. Well mm, you're all the way up there. Okay. The archer can't withstand a horse and a chariot. It can't mm. repel forces of that magnitude. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this is now a return of the Jedi stream, whether you want it to be or not. Yes. Leave. Oh, 160 signs from a city conversion, mm, and it's my own city. Oh, God, I love Fez. <laughs> <laughs> He's also my favorite that 70 show character. Yeah. Oh, I finally I made a good day, time. sir. Hello. Oh, I forgot the heels. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. That's a, a Game Grumps Seinfeld bit. voice. Yeah, it's yeah. Seinfeld, not Game Grumps. Yeah, it's a Game Grumps. Yeah. Game Grumps. Seinfeld, Seinfeld! I'm sorry, I'm not making that me thirsty. Oh. Hello! Machu Picchu uh. doesn't look like Machu Picchu in this game. It looks like a European city on top of a hill. It's got like... Yeah, like a dainty little French village. Yeah. <laughs> Duncan, could you move your horse away so I can go around with my settler? Why do you want to go that way? Well, yeah. I'm going down to the right. I'm going into the mountain range. Okay. There's nowhere else for me to go, so I'm going to go back to all okay. my territory. Oh, no, it went that way anyway. So. <laughs> That's what I thought. Horsey. 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 Cedra. <laughs> I I actually started playing Pokemon Shield, and I have to admit, I it was a, it was a COVID purchase. It was when I had coronavirus. Mm. Um, ah, you had coronavirus? And, yeah, it was. It was it yeah. You know how uh, he, uh, you know how we know he has the coronavirus? Because he took the test and came back negative. That's when he knew. <laughs> he definitely yeah. had the coronavirus. That was me. <laughs> I was scared. It was psychosomatic. That's the thing. I was convinced it was psychosomatic, and then I, I actually spoke to my friend who's a useful doctor, and he said, oh, that, "Wow, one of those Burn. useful doctors." <laughs> oh uh, yeah, so And he was just like, uh, "Yeah, I've never heard of a psychosomatic cough before. Like, I'm pretty sure you have the virus." Oh. Um, and then it was like about two weeks of kind of struggling to breathe and just being completely lethargic. It wasn't very nice, but like I, I, I played a fair bit of Animal Crossing and I started out Pokemon Shield and I just haven't got around to getting back to it and I'm, I'm not that fussed at this point. Like, it was alright. It wasn't that great. I don't know if anyone else has any strong opinions about it. Yeah, it was, uh, it was, it was like a me mediocre Pokemon game, I think. I did like the British aspects of it. Like, the when I when I battled a postman and he was like, I carry letters and victory, and then started a battle. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty I have, fun. I didn't like Pokemon, but then I've never really liked any Pokemon game. Hashtag unpopular opinion. Uh, oh my god. There's a there's a Zanzibar archer just standing in the way of my settler for the last three turns, and I'm really not happy about it. <laughs> Man, that's fucking Golden Age V2. Absolutely brutal to get by a 
age. I got another golden age as well. I feel like it's easier than it used to be. Maybe it just got better. Actually, no, no that's ridiculous. That's not. Yeah, that definitely true. didn't happen. <laughs> this game just keeps picking. It's like it's a fiddle song that's playing. It, it ends and then it just keeps kicking up again. That's been mine. I, I, <laughs> I apologize if that's my music. No, it's uh, mine, I think. Hey, what city are you again? Canada. Oh, yeah, it might be that. Canada one. has a large population of uh, something called habitants. It's what the Canadians are named after, the Montreal Canadians. It was the uh, Maritime Canada. It's like their equivalent of our uh, colonial era. Right. Do you ever just hate seeing one of you trade routes walk into a barbarian encampment? Yeah. yeah. You just want to tell them, <laughs> you stupid please, bastards! No. I know I told you to go to the city, but come on, you can turn right, please. Literally a different way around that lake and it doesn't take any extra time. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that's pretty fun. There's um, Puy de Dom Ooh, is in the game as a volcano, because that's the... Oh, oh shit, the best, my favourite part of the game. Yay. Oh, yay. Um... Everyone's on the, uh... What's that government that gives you two yellow cards, one green and one wild? Uh, Classical uh, Republic. Classical Republic. Yeah, everyone's on that, right? Yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah, just upvote that. We'll all get a nice sure. little bonus card. Sounds good. I'm going to be voting for Scientific City States. I will be doing the same. Sure. I'm also voting for Diplomatic Victory for myself. That oh. makes sense. I'm gonna vote, vote for Rillian to lose points. I'm Starting, vote for I'm, that at, too. I'm at zero, and Duncan already <laughs> wants me to lose. Classical Republic gets a wild card. Duncan that's, was burned that's my once contribution. And never forgotten it. <laughs> I've also voted for myself to lose two diplomatic victory points. If you that's could please fair. consider that. Yeah. And that's a power play right there. <laughs> I'm an agent of chaos. Sometimes you just gotta, you know. Put a wild card in there. Holy shit, a city-state actually did something versus a barb. Oh, Potato gave himself diplomatic victory points. Mm. Well done. Mm. That's right, now I have five. He's wow. won the game! That's quite a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe you should vote for him instead of me, Duncan. I didn't vote for anything. I voted to uh, game. Oh, it was a lie! I was a joke. It was a joke. It was a joke. It was a joke. It was a jest. Really. A jape. Jeff, in my video game. No, no, no. Is someone <laughs> japing near me? Trouble in my neighborhood? More likely than you think. God, it's an older meme, but it checks out. <laughs> Again, this is a return of the Jedi stream, everyone. Two diplomats board Congress. Oh, I'm so smart. I would like to announce that I have chocolate cake from yesterday. Oh, oh that's that's nice. Cool. nice. I'm happy for you. Me too. Can I Hard to talk. Chocolate, chocolate cake. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. I want to eat a chocolate, chocolate cake. cake with some walnuts. Were there any cakes in the Star Wars universe, actually? Maybe in the holiday special. Mm. Yeah, probably oh. the holiday special if it was going to be in I was. Uh, I don't think. Um, I was talking to a friend about this the other day. I don't actually think there are any birds anywhere in the Star Wars uh, universe. What about the little penguins? Um, what things? about the porgs? The porgs, yeah. And yeah, the, uh, I don't think there are any yeah. birds. The fucking porg, Simon. Come on. Yeah. You've also got in the How Empire Strikes Back the those little uh, things that they shoot when they're. No, they're the minox. They're, they're not, but they're, they are clearly like. What classifies as bird? Well, birds they're are flying. dinosaurs. It's a Simon. flying thing. Birds are dinosaurs. Literally, yeah. Yeah. I was eating cake and didn't feel my gum. Good. <laughs> I'm glad. Damn it. Oh fuck, I didn't I didn't have the cake excuse. I didn't upgrade my governor. Uh, is it worth me building a campus next to a volcano, do you think? Yeah, risk it for you a have yeah. Again. yeah, absolutely. But it's just like you know, yeah, ah, fuck it. I've already done it. For a biscuit. Go with. Biscuit for a chocolate. Controversial! Cake. Don't want to alarm anyone, but I have done it. Yeah, Ooh. so I was, I was saying the um, there's the volcano here, Puy de Dom, which is kind of interesting. It's in the middle of France, and um, it's where they did an experiment that showed the atmospheric pressure decreased with altitude. 
up until then we didn't know that, but it was um, a guy called, I think it was Florin de Perrier, and he was mm. the brother-in-law of Pascal, the guy who the unit of pressure was named after. And he was literally just, he, he like wrote a letter to his brother-in-law that was like, hey, you live near a mountain. Um, can you do something for me? Like, and he described how to build the world, one of the world's first barometers. And they did like a village jolly up to the top of this mountain. With like the Reverend was there, like various people, and they, they the enjoyed doing there? it. Yeah, like the, the local um, priest came Jesus. with them. I don't know why. Uh, Revenant. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the Ghost Revenant of was there. Avenging Spirit was Everyone there. Everyone was <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, they enjoyed it themselves so much, they did it like four times, and they were like very enthusiastic at being like, oh look, we did a science, Mr. Pascal. And he was like, great, mm. I will take the credits. <laughs> and got the unit of pressure named after it. That's how it should be. Yeah. Science in the olden days was a lot more ego, like testicle. Well, scientific institutions only became a thing really in the 19th century. Up until then, it was very much gentlemen scholars. Um, and just kind of smart dudes and smart women, but they didn't get written about just kind of being smart dudes. Um, whereas it was only, yeah, like in the 19th century that you got more research institutions and like kind of modern science as we'd know it, which just kind of became inherently more collaborative and so less ego driven, which is kind of less fun, I guess, in one aspect. I prefer ego driven. Lots, yeah. lots gets done with ego. I do remember the guy who discovered that like washing your hands was like important. Was and like just a massive. He was just a massive, like, <laughs> not a very nice person. He would like write to doctors, like, "You're a murderer. You're killing people with your hands." Yeah. And nobody listened to him because mm. he was just a massive jerk about but it. All, but also, just like you know, it just—it's just so cognitive. It gives me such cognitive dissonance to imagine like old timey surgery, and nobody thought like, "Well, my hands are covered in shit," and like you know, <laughs> yeah. I've literally Maybe just wiped my should... ass. But yeah, no, I'm it, sure it it's fine. All right, I got done <laughs> yeah. taking a shit. Let's open you up. Yeah, it's really weird because it's so <laughs> obvious to us. Like, but maybe that's just something we've learned rather than feels natural. But to me, it's like if I'm gonna do anything, anything really, I want to have clean hands. Yeah. But for some reason back then, it's just we're doing the most crazy things. But it doesn't really matter if I just fucking yeah, just took a shit or whatever. And I haven't even cleaned my hands. Like, what the fuck? Because it was. How, it was how does that make sense? Who, who, who came up with germ theory, but I don't know if he was the same dude who kind of insisted everyone wash their hands. I'm not sure who that was. Yeah, no idea. Because I did, that was the other thing we did at GCI History, actually, it was probably the most interesting module I ever took in school was the history of medicine from prehistory to present. Like a whole year just doing one topic. That was so cool. Oh, fuck. Uh, Alex? Foolish. Floods. Everything's flooded. Oh dear. Wait, not everything. No, okay, thank god. Just some. Just my farms. Some things. And my sh My sheep! <gasps> not the sheep! Not oh. the sheep. The shaps. Semmelweiss, mm. apparently, according to my chat, was the dude who said everyone should wash your hands. Semmelweiss. Incidentally, chat, that, if you're, that, if you're that, listening that to this and uh, you haven't washed your hands recently, go do that. Do your bit. It's really not hard. <laughs> What really sucks is I have to pee into a sieve right now to collect my kidney stones, which means I piss all over my hands, and then uh, I have to wash my hands every time after I go to the bathroom now, instead of faking it. Down. Yeah, oh, imagine having to wash your hands every time you I go know. to the bathroom. <laughs> That's horrible! That's, that's Holy bullshit. hell! Actually, pee is I... uh, sterile, so you don't need to. That's true, too. <laughs> my pee isn't sterile, I don't know about yours. <laughs> my pee is acidic. It's like the alien goop. <laughs> it's crazy, people. He has to buy a new toilet every time. Just eats right through it. <laughs> Breaking a hole in your head. <laughs> it's like that scene in Breaking Bad. <laughs> the toilet just comes through the ceiling instead of the yeah. bath. Oh, by the way, Rampart, that's not, that's a scouting missionary. I'm not converting you. Um, <laughs> that's a lie. Um, <laughs> press X to doubt on that one. No, like, I promise I will not convert your city. I technically can't okay. resist. There's only three religions in the world. Is, it, is that all of them gone? No, there's, there's a space two more. For two more. Do you want to like maybe get a religion, guys? Like, uh, yeah, you can make a religion. Out of this. I have it's really a easy. thousand barbs to deal with. Then I'll worry about a holy site. It's like one holy site, guys. Just one. Just one. 
Don't hinge up. Make your religion about killing barbs. Kill two birds with one mm -hmm. stone and a lot of barbs. Yeah. Two barbs with one stone. With the same stone. Can you imagine how amazing a trick shot that would actually be to kill two birds with a single stone? I've done it. I've yeah. actually thought about it. Oh, fuck. I'm really impressed. Oh. The key is to get a lot of birds in one tiny area. If you get the mother bird, uh, then you kill the whole nest. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Or two mating birds. <laughs> <laughs> now that's bro code. You don't you don't kill someone whilst they're having sex. That's just rude. Yes. Thank you. Bro code. Okay. Bro code. About like hefting the rock in your hand. You're like, ah, oh, sick. Two birds with one step. Oh, wait, the oh, fuck. Yeah, no, sucks. you win this one. Yeah. Or, oh, oh, yeah, as chat points out. Just small birds, big stone. <laughs> That's yeah. <fun. laughs> yeah, what's the size of the stone are we talking here? Are we saying yeah, you're not gonna, you can use a trebuchet, you could probably do a lot of damage to like, like, like it. Like, a bunch of penguins, I reckon, would be pretty easy to kill. I could easily kill a bunch of penguins with a rock. <laughs> Give me five <laughs> minutes, a good sized rock, I could wipe out a whole colony. <laughs> well, I mean, they wiped out a whole load of birds 65 million years ago with a single rock. Mm. So, yeah, one group of rock. But they stuck around. Very, very large cats. rocks, to be fair. This is, like, absolutely ridiculous. This is the most barbs I've ever seen, and I would be confident in saying that. This might actually be the most barbs ever. Are you still dealing with barbs? I'm still dealing with barbs. I still have, like, a full fucking army in the bottom left-hand corner coming at me every turn. Did Guinness still do world records? Could we get a world record for the most barbs in a I, game of like, civilization? I, honestly, I'm getting there. It's like nuts. I have to. <laughs> <laughs> most barbs in a game of Civ without raging barbarians turned on. Hmm. Now I'm noticing, India, oops, you've oops, spent oops, a lot oops, of your faith. What's happening there? Well, I currently have one two, three settlers, and I settled three cities in the last five minutes. Oh, you're faith purchasing settlers, no! Hmm. We're done for, we're doomed. No, I'm just, I'm just making cities. I need more population, that's the thing. You know me. And my chat is correcting us, Deltos. The, the Chicxulub meteor was 11, between 11 and 81 kilometers God. across. Tell your chat I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. At all. There you go, chat. You hear that? <laughs> I do think we have heard quite a lot from Simon's chat this stream. Yeah. Very well, well, chat updates. Informed. Yeah. yeah. Zoof, can we get an update from the chat that really matters, please, Zoof? Oh my god. Spiff has a, a navy. I have two boats because I was so trapped on my <laughs> island I thought I need to get colonizing. And I have so far found zero bits of colonizable land. Can I do, um, you know on Reddit, there's the subreddit, oh. Am I the Arsehole? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Can I can I do one of those now? Right now. Yeah. Hit me. Well, yeah. what is it? So I was walking um, around, like it's kind of like a parky, fieldy area, just out in nature today. Uh, so, and then I and then um, coming the opposite way were three adults with their four like I think like must must have been like Great Danes or something, mm -hmm. um, all off leash. So they come uh, as they're coming closer towards me. They cut the, all the dogs come bounding up to me and start like jumping on me. So I asked the owner if they could get their dogs to stop doing that. Uh, and they went, "We well, should just walk somewhere else then." Yeah, you're absolutely like, not the asshole <laughs> in that situation. Yeah, 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 no, yeah. And, and I and, and I and NTA, I went to them. <laughs> NTA, honestly, I love dogs, so, but it's like you gotta control your dogs. They're still so, animals. So I replied, "Well, like if they're gonna jump up on people, maybe you should put them on a leash." Uh, and then she starts like full on screaming Karen at me, like a uh, full on yeah, swearing and going into completely like massive. And you need to like talk screaming to someone to like, like reaffirm that you're not the asshole there. Like uh, the other day, I was driving in the parking lot, and this uh, right in the driving lane, these two people were just standing, just looking around like a bunch of puds. And I rolled down the window. I'm like, hey guys, you can't be standing here. And they're like, they startled and they started walking away and like, you could have asked it nicer. I'm like, that's the nicest way I could ask, right? <laughs> I even said that to them yeah. out the window. But I still felt like an asshole the entire ride home. Well, that's just normal, right? Where I do guess. I live? Oh, I live in Medway. It's the home of the Chav. <laughs> yeah, dogs. I mean, I remember one time I was walking my dog, Tucker, who's like 120 pounds, and he jumped at someone's kid. And Tucker's a fucking gentle giant. He just wanted to lick the kid's face, but it was like, it's it's horrifying. You don't want to do that to someone. Yeah. Do some people are afraid of dogs, and then this giant dog, <laughs> that shit is terrifying. Yeah. 
Like Leave usually, uh, usually every other owner of a dog that I've encountered in that in that um, kind of like uh, parky, uh, it's like a country park, uh, and everyone's been like uh, absolutely lovely. They say good morning and, and whatever. But this this one, this person just just would just this like start just started shouting at me, hmm. and and I like you know, they're four big dogs. Like they're all like Great Dane size. I don't know if they are gonna you know bite me, but based on the way that the owner's talking to me, I'm pretty sure they haven't been raised correctly. No, they haven't. Like that's another thing. Dogs, like I said, are animals. You gotta, you gotta, you know. Yeah, because I love bloopers, but if four massive dogs start coming jumping on me, I'm, I'm getting a bit like, eh. Ah. 